host name micro processor and the microcontroller so title is a multi modular programming so introduction to modular programming so on computation students will be able to modular programming so uh, modular programming means so it's a complex program to separate sub programs such as functions and subroutines okay so the similar functions are grouped in the same unit of the programming code and the separate functions are developed as a separate units of code so that the code can be reused by other applications for example if a program needs so initial and the boundary conditions use subroutine to set them then if someone else wants to compute a different solution using the program only the subroutines need to be changed this is very easier than having a read through a program line by line trying to figure out what each line is supposed to do and whether needs to be changed sub programs make an actual program shorter hence easier to read and understand further the arguments show exactly what information a sub program is using that makes it easier to figure out whether it needs to be changed when modifying the program alp that is assembly language programs are developed essentially the same procedure as a high level language programs by exactly starting what the program is to do <coughs> splitting the overall problem into tasks and defining exactly what each task must be do and how to communicate with the other task putting the task that assembler language modulates the connecting the module together to form a program so debugging and the testing the program so documenting the program the benefits using the modular programming or modular programming allows uh, many programmers to collaborate on the same application same code can can be used in many applications code is short simple and easy to understand code is stored across the multiple files a single processor can be developed for reuse eliminating the need retype the code many times so errors can easily be identified as they are localized to a subroutine or a function so linking and relocation so is a block diagram shown in figure the process combines the following find the object models to be linked construct a load model by assigning the positions of all uh, the all segments in the, all the object models being linked okay so in the fill the offset that would not be determined by the assembler would not determined by the, this assembler this assembler is a source model is connected to the assembler assembler output is connected to the object model the assembler so output given to the reason monitor okay so fill in the all segment matrix so load the program and execution the execution output is given from the input output drivers okay here segment combination in addition to the linker commands the assembler provides the means the regulating the many segments in different object models are organized by the linker the segments that with the same time the join together by using modifiers attached to the segment directives segment directives may have the form segment name segment combination type okay quiz questions any quiz questions what do you in the model of programming thank you thank you very much